What's up, people? Pacebreaker here. And here we go. Once again, it is that time for VG Demolition. For this entry into the whole uh, me playing demo, Lego The Hobbit for the PlayStation 4. So, let's go. I have been anticipating this game since Lego Lord of the Rings. So here we go with something really, really out there. Uh, I mean, you know, if you played it on the Wii and you haven't played anything on the PS3 or PS4, this ends up being a really, really big leap in terms of graphics and gameplay. So, Let's actually go in here and adjust the volume right quick because I don't want it to be too loud. Turn the subtitles on. And these are your basic controls. That's all that you need to know. You can pause and read. Let's get into it. Uh, I played a little bit of this, but I would want it to be like a, uh, a first impressions kind of video. It looks safe enough. Search to the back. Caves in the mountain are seldom unoccupied. We were to wait in the mountains until Gandalf joined us. Plans change. Bofa, take the first watch. What's that? Yeah, neat. You even get to see like the little Lego emblazoned on the pegs too. Sweet. Yeah, I'm actually going to talk over this because, eh, why not? Seriously, this already looks a lot better than the, uh, than the cutscenes that are done in, uh, they're done, like, on the Wii. I mean, yeah, they're about the same quality, but this looks a lot more, uh, a lot more polished. It's more vivid. It stands out. You can tell that this is HD. And of course, the Lego humor. So, yeah. He still looks disgusting, but not like he did in the movie. Ooh. I know that sword. It is the goblin cleaver. Slash them, beat them, kill them all. All right, well it's time for a brawl. Let's go. So, compared to uh, the Wii versions of games, uh, instead of it being B or swing the Wii remote, Square is now your attack button. So. Here we are as Thorin Oaken Shield, and check this out. We got like a freaking QTE reaction command thing going on now. I mean, it's like more apparent compared to in other games. Okay, so now I'm a little used to the controls. So as you can see, there's a little number up there. So yeah, we're gonna just uh, continue to kill some of these. There's too much going on in terms of both the, the dialogue and the action. I'll say that much. That's how I felt when I played the Lego movie demo a couple months ago. All right. And, ah, Gandalf. You shall not pass. I had to. I really need to turn these notifications off. Oh, there he winks. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go. 
time to break some goblins down. All right, Killy, I think we're going to need him first. I actually like Philly and Killy, they're pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen uh, two out of the three movies. The, Of course, at the time that I'm recording this, it's October. Uh, the third movie hasn't come out yet. So, boom, that sets him up. And let's get in on it, come on. Team up. Hit square, reaction command, let's go, boom. Nice. Seriously, it really feels like a step up from the games I played before. But it's a tad too much though. All right, so now that I've already played a little bit of this, I know what to do. I know what comes up now. All right, let's see. Ow. And apparently, yeah, you're collecting things. It ends up being a, it ends up being similar to the Lego movie video game. And now I have to tap circle and boom. Again, let's go. Tag team, come on. Nice. Alright, next up. Gandalf. Yeah, expect some fail. Okay. Um ah. Sometimes I can't even tell whether or not I've died. Uh-oh. Uh. And then while he supposedly has us stunned, I don't think so. In the head. Hang on, I gotta switch to the dwarves. Uh, tag team. Oh, neck breaker. Huh? No, I, I, I'm too busy fighting right now. <laughs> Almost like sand, but not as awesome. Plenty awesome on their own. Really? Did you guys have to split up? And so now we have to play as like two different sides. I wonder if it's going to be like in Lego Lord of the Rings where uh, it'll be split up amongst everybody. I mean, like you'll have two different... Nah, they're not going to do it like that. I can see right now that, no, we're going to be on the same team. That's good. Okay, so you want to collect this stuff. Since it is like uh, the Lego movie. Yeah, apparently you're going to be doing... Oh, come on. Death perception. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, we need the guy with the hammer. Dwalin. All right. And death. Yeah, he's pretty badass. Very boss. Okay. And we need Gandalf for this. That circle. See, this is a new little mechanic. Where you can buddy up and then uh pick up stuff like this and run into everything this way and back i like this this is really freaking fun and you get to do this a lot so there you go it really actually emphasizes the teamwork mechanic uh, that they wanted you to make uh that they wanted you to do in this game before okay now we gotta crank this you guys cover me while i work on this now, something that will make this even better is four-player multiplayer instead of just two-player co-op. All right, so that Thorin. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, both uh, an unexpected journey and desolation of smog. They were, they were pretty cool. Ah, really? That's not fair. That is not fair. Thanks, game. Um, right, get to somebody with the. Can we? Uh, Dory, buffer. Oh, no. Gee, why am I getting killed while I'm doing that? Get. Ori, there we go. 
This game will make you uh, remember their names if you didn't already get it before. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Red, well, green, red, and blue. Okay. That's blue now. We need to make it green. Yeah, this is definitely a game that you play with, like, uh... Ah, there we go. Hey, two for one. This is definitely a game that you play with, like, a niece or a grandkid, maybe. A younger relative. Yeah. Or you could, uh, play it with, uh... With someone who's about the same age or a little older. I do that with my sister. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting this. Oh, I was going to get it regardless. Okay. Dory, stop getting killed. Here we go. Um, I expect the AI to actually behave a little bit better. You know, it kind of help me out. Oh, that was subtle. All right, so cutting the ropes. Nice. All right. Time to do this buddy stuff again. Let's go. Run. Set up and go. Are we clear? Now we're clear. Go. Very nice. Just like in Lord of the Rings. Boom. Gotta love an axe wielding character. So, meanwhile, with party B, let's take this, light it up, and we'll burn away the ropes and let's, let's suspend this. Okay, Killy, you're up. Look at this. Look at this. This is freaking nice. All right, here we go. Nice. The combat does feel a bit more open. Well, I, I shouldn't say open. I should say a bit more flexible, more capable. Oh, no, I could have did it. All right, let's see. It's building time. Oh, so you can't move the stick and make it go faster. All right. There you go. Here. Now, let's get these gears to spin in. Yeah, it's still, the, it's still your basic stuff, but if you played uh, the Lego movie video game, then you'll see that it starts to become a bit more complex. Just a bit because of certain things that they have to do. I don't even know why I'm collecting studs. I'm not going to need them. Okay, so. Ah, get out of the way. So, another little new mechanic for this game. Get out of the way. Yeah, they even have, like, cool little team finishers and stuff. Okay, so. Oh, come on. Seriously, they get in the way while you're trying to do this stuff? That's dumb. I don't like that. Hang it up. What? What the hell is dumbass? Is he seriously dying over and over again? Whoa, that's embarrassing. Bomber. Well, that's that's a first. <laughs> 